Hello guys, welcome to my channel Travel with Sobia Jeb where I post about Canadian immigration and our life in Canada, how we are settling in, the struggles that we have faced and uh, we are still facing and in settling in uh, our new home in Canada. So uh, if you are planning to immigrate or in the process of uh, uh, moving here, um, please like and subscribe to my channel Travel with Sobia Jib for more uh, informative videos on Canada immigration and our Canadian journey. Okay, so guys, uh, today's video is about uh, the kitchen utensils and gadgets that we have brought. We, we brought, we actually brought a few of them from uh, Dubai uh, with us because I was already using those utensils at my um, home. So rather than throwing them away, you know, my basic instinct was to bring them here. So whatever my weight, so uh, just keeping in, you know, making the most of the weight that was allowed to us in the air in the airplane, uh, we brought uh, the most basic items, which are very expensive ones. We just brought them here. Uh, rather than you know throwing them there and then coming and buying everything from scratch so i'll show you what are the basic items and how we have survived so far with these items um in canada like we we are we have spent almost uh six months six and a half months in canada and these items have usually like you know these items have helped me a lot i mean all my basic necessities have been met with these so i'll show you and then you can decide according to your own circumstances if you want to bring your items here or if you want to buy um, new items from canada and keeping in mind the prices i'll share the prices as well so let's start okay guys so my first and foremost item is this tefal pressure cooker which i have brought from dubai we got this for around 270 uh, 260 dirhams in Dubai and I have been like you know I was so much used to uh, cooking in this pressure cooker like all the desi stuff like uh, for example if I had to cook meat or beef so I used to cook in this one because you know just like all pressure cookers this one is really quick and easy to use and the best part the best part which I don't like in the desi uh, pressure cookers and the, the thing that I found amazing in this one is the easy, you know, closing and opening of this lid. Literally, there is an arrow here and you just put it on this and you just slide it like this. And you have to close it like this and this button and you're good. Like, you know, and after some time the steam uh, starts building in and then I just switch off the, uh, uh, the, the burner and uh, after uh, the steam set, sets in and uh, usually my dal or anything which I cook my uh, like you know lentils or uh, meat anything which I have to cook I just you know uh, leave it like that on, a, on the hot stove the burner is off and uh, I just you know put it there uh, anyway so uh, I just put it there and it cooks in its uh, in, in hardly 10 to 15 minutes and then I slowly set the, like with all pressure cookers, I just slowly set it to one and then two off. And then this automatically, this one gets locked when there is pressure and this um, sets free when once the pressure drops. So then it's so easy to open and close. So this is a pressure cooker. It's good if I have uh, guests over, like, you know, for around eight to ten people, this pot is like good enough. So, keeping this aside, aside, what the next thing that I brought with me was this one, uh, this one, the Tefal, again the Tefal wok. This one, again, I was using this in Dubai and this is so good, so good that, you know, I cook gravies, I cook, um, although this is not a rice, uh, thing but I even when when for normal daily cooking when I have to cook rice I use this one for my rice uh, as well as gravies but this one is definitely you know best for gravy so I didn't want to leave this behind and uh, okay this is a little bit heavy I wouldn't call it heavy but then um, 
this one is very very light that's why i could actually carry it with me here for traveling this one got a little bit you know bent because it's so lightweight that this side actually got a little bit bent so um the steam actually escapes from here so when i'm cooking rice sometimes um, it doesn't give me that airtight uh, cook it airtight so that's why i needed another uh, i would say another pot for for my rice cooking so a friend of mine was uh, like you know she was coming here and she actually brought this pot with her from pakistan and i really love her for this because this has served all my all time purpose for cooking rice biryani everything so these are the things which i have like which are actually from back home because okay you will not get a very big pot like this one here uh, i will show you what uh, the maximum pot which we, which i got from walmart because i was really in need of a bigger pot because i know that this one is not giving me um, like you know it's it's not giving me that airtight uh, that the steam escapes and i cannot cook that properly that's why i needed this thing and another pot which i bought from walmart which is this one starfruit i rock the rock and uh, again this is a non stick pot and this one is 7.2 quarts so this would again be an ideal thing for gravies or vegetables or anything and even sometimes even i can uh, like you know use it for soups or anything we got this for around uh, 50 dirhams uh, sorry 50 dollars from walmart so yeah this was the um this was the closest which i could get a, a, like you know compared to our desi uh, cook pots okay the okay so continuing where we were although i try to make the video in one go but i'm never able to because of the kids and they woke up so uh let's get back to this so i was telling you about this pan it's from ikea and this is like good for making tea or boiling anything uh in the initial uh days i have like even now um i really i don't feel the need for buying another um uh, another uh, pan for boiling stuff and uh, for boiling vegetables uh, because i usually wash the pan after uh, making tea so that whenever i need it for something else i have it with me okay and this thing it's again from tifal so you can call me a not tifal yeah so this is the tawa this is the usual tawa but this is very lightweight now i got this for around 20 to 25 between 20 to 25 dollars and if you can bring this from your home country it's good because you know uh, it is going to last you a long time you know and uh, and these are expensive and probably you will not get this everywhere i think i got this from walmart or no frills okay so you can really bring this one if it's not that if you find a lightweight one in your home country just bring it here because this is going to be expensive and you will not get this usual roti make like roti tawa uh, everywhere and if you go for desi stores definitely the desi stores will have everything uh, they will have this um, local um, uh, pot they will have this uh, this thing uh, roti uh, tawa they will have everything uh, from back home but then they will be very expensive okay and this is uh, master chef uh, fry pan that i got and i usually make this it's a very big one but i usually i use it for everything like you know uh, for making omelets in the morning for uh, making pancakes for making french toast or even for um, frying 
uh, for making french fries or anything else so this one has really you know helped me a lot so these this is actually my minimum minimum kitchen utensils that i have been using over the past uh, six months and i have survived easily so um now you know and okay and i got this from canadian tire uh, this is master chef and i think i got this for around uh, 20 uh, 5 to 30 dollars in between 25 to 30 dollars so if you can bring okay so you will get uh, if you can get a set of three f different sizes of fry pans from your home country which you're already using at home you can just bring them here or you can buy uh, from a local shop and you can just bring them here because uh, this is really expensive and uh, probably you'll get a cheaper option for uh, from walmart for 12 dollars uh, which is uh, smaller in size than this one but it's a single one so whatever suits you if it's lightweight and if you have uh, uh, enough weight you can just bring that bring a set of three different sizes in your backpack and uh, this one do bring this uh rolling pin and this one do bring this from your home countries you know my mom just put that put this in my suitcase and uh, without even telling so uh this is a must to bring it because this thing is really expensive here okay other than this what i brought from there was uh, a few of these uh, spoons because I think you will not find these for gravies which are our usual traditional you know um, you know, spoons for cooking gravies thick gravies and so this is home these serving spoons I brought from back home so these were basically I did not buy all this uh, these were actually I'm using I was using these at home and uh, I just you know put it in the suitcase because these are so lightweight other than this you don't have to bring cutlery because it's uh, usually very very it's it's cheap and it's good you will find it from Ikea you'll find this set from Ikea and this will be more than enough for you there are four like you know four big forks four small forks then four knives four big spoons four small spoons so this will be good enough for you if you buy two of them or if you buy one initially it'll be great because usually in dawats or in get togethers in parties or at like when you're having guests over for eat people usually use disposable spoons and disposable plates so and yes, uh, dinner sets, I did not bring anything because first of all, I didn't want to take the risk of carrying, but uh, of carrying and, you know, breaking them. Uh, so even if one plate, you know, gets a chip or something, it gets a scratch or something, it usually goes, the whole set goes, goes to waste. So, and you will find a cheaper dinner set of four sets, like, you know, for four persons, you will get this here at uh, Canadian Tire or Walmart. The brand that you should go for is Corel. I will show you if I have something right now. Okay. So, this is Corel brand. And this one is, I don't know, the glass is very, very, the quality of the glass is very good and it doesn't break easily it doesn't chip off easily so i really like this and this will be around probably if you go for if you wait for a discount you'll get this around 35 dollars uh, to 40 dollars otherwise normally you can get this around 50 to 55 dollars because this is really so guys i hope this video would help you in making the right decision when you're packing um, uh, and coming to canada so if you really like my video, please share and subscribe to my channel Travel with Sobia Jib for more updates on our Canadian journey. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.